Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science. And today I'm going to bring you a demonstration for CC cycle two, week seven, hands-on science experiment, which is called sun prints. So we finished the first six weeks of science and those have been in our Van Cleves book. So the next six weeks are going to be just some fun science projects to learn more about we're going to be talking a lot about astronomy and things in space and the universe. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about the sun and do a fun project with that. So we're going to be talking, we've talked a lot about the sun before and, and the light that comes from the sun and how we see the sun, um, the sunlight. You know, we talked about the sunset and how we can see the sun above the horizon even after it's set of refraction and how the light can be bent in. So we've talked a little bit about what comes from the sun, um, but you can ask some questions. Okay, we'll learn about something else that comes from the sun and ask some questions. Okay, so we see the light from the sun. What else comes from the sun? And they may say, you know, we feel the sun's heat and see if they have any other um, answers. So there's radiation that comes from the sun and there's different types of radiation so part of it is that light that we see and part of it is the heat that we feel but there are some other things that come from the sun too and that can cause some changes so i have um nicole liam uh she made these awesome science scripts and you can find these on cc connected and she's got some really great graphics usually too to go along with them. Um, but I love the questions that she lists and she kind of goes through the, the scientific method. Um, these are gonna, these next six weeks, we're not gonna be following the scientific method exactly, but we're still gonna be asking questions and forming hypothesis. Um, but really also focusing on naming, what things can we name? What things can we attend to? Um, what are we learning? What what are we paying attention to? And then expressing to with these projects. So we're going to express um, using the sun's rays and to create some artwork. So before this project, you'll, your director will probably have um, some sun print kits for you. You can get these off of Amazon. I think I've seen them like at Hobby Lobby and craft stores. Um, but you'll get um, the special sun print paper and it'll be white on one side and blue on the other side. And so you can have the students bring some objects from home um, this week for class. Or when we did this cycle previously, we, we had kind of a green space and we kind of went on a nature hunt and found leaves and grass. And you can even, um, ahead of time if your tutor, cut out little silhouettes of different shapes. Um, this experiment's gonna work better if if the objects are pretty flat, you'll get a better um, outline of the shape. So you're going to, to gather some objects, whether that students bring some things from home or you provide them um, some things and you'll need the sun print kits. Some of them come with like a sheet of acrylic to lay on top. Sometimes that's helpful when you're laying out in the sun. So like if you have leaves on there, the leaves don't blow away. Also seen where you can get little thumbtacks and put those through, you know, like if you have leaves or objects that might blow away, um, just put a little thumbtack through it while it's laying in the sun to kind of keep everything in place. So um, there's a cool kind of just description of the radiation that comes from the sun. And so we learned some about how uh, light can move as a wave and and sometimes it's really like a, a wide wave, a slow wave, and sometimes it's really, really fast. And that dip, it, it changes the characteristics of the radiation. So we have radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves. We have our visible light here in the middle and our ultraviolet, which is what we're gonna be talking about today, X-rays and gamma rays. So you can ask them, have they ever, had an x-ray done and what does getting an x-ray do it takes a picture of your bones and ask them well how does it do that and see if they kind of know how it does that and we're going to be talking about ultraviolet rays radiation today 
and ultraviolet is a, is a medium energy wavelength. So these are lower energy here and these are higher energy. So ultraviolet is kind of in the middle. It's a medium wave, medium energy wavelength and it can cause chemical changes. So you may, you may ask them, you may have heard your mom or dad say, we gotta um, protect ourselves from the UV rays when we go out, when we go to the beach or go play outside in the sun and we need to wear sunscreen or wear a hat or sunglasses and that's gonna protect from the UV rays because we know that it can cause some chemical changes um, that might be harmful for our skin, but it can also cause some other chemical changes. And so our sun print paper is, is uh, something else that it can cause a change to. So it's, it's this white paper that has this chemical um, that turns blue. So when you get it, your, your paper will be kind of a medium color blue. And when we expose that chemical, those molecules to the sunlight, they change because of the ultraviolet light. So you can have each student take a piece of paper and put their objects on it. You wanna kind of protect it from the sunlight while you're arranging the objects on your paper. So either you know, keep it in your own shadow or hold it in the shade while you're arranging them and then set them out in the sunshine. And you'll set it out, you'll follow the, the directions in your kit, but maybe for about five minutes in the sunlight. And you'll notice that the paper starts to get really light, that the blue color starts going away. And then you'll bring it back into the shade and you'll take your objects off and you'll notice there's a dark blue shape where your object was, where your leaf was. And then you'll take a tray of water that's big enough for your paper to fit in and you'll put the paper in the water and soak it for about five minutes or however long your kit says. And you'll notice another change. So make sure you're, you're having the kids attend to the changes that are going on. So before the paper turned really light, and then when you put the paper in the water, it turned really dark blue. There was another chemical change that happened. And then your shapes turned really light. And so we used leaves. We also, I think, used some pennies. These kind of look like penny shapes. Um, these are ones that we did um, last cycle, last time we did this cycle, and I have another one. That we did some more leaves, so they turn out really cool. And it's really neat how the paper changes. And so, just point out, ask questions while while you're doing this experiment. It's like, what changes do you see, and what's going on? And it's just the wonder. It just encourages the wonder as as these shapes show up. And um, you'll want some paper towels too. Once your papers are done soaking, just lay them out on some paper towels um, to dry so the students can, can take them home at the end of the day. So um, that's kind of what, what this experiment is. It's learning more about, okay, there's more that comes from the sun than just what we see and what we feel. There's things that we can't see as well. And there's all these types of radiation and they're used for different things. We use, um, and Nicolium has some good descriptions down here at the bottom of what each type of radiation does. It, I don't know if the little ones will be um, as, as interested in all those details, but if you have older students, they definitely will be interested in hearing, okay, what do we use radio waves for? Or who has a microwave? And what does that do? We use that to heat up our food and X-rays can take pictures of our bones. Um, we have infrared rays that can, that's what we use to make our remote controls for our televisions work. So it's just observing, or just learning more about things around them that we can't necessarily see with our eyes, but they're out there and noticing um, the changes that they can make. So this is a really fun experiment and something fun that they can take home. So have fun with this one. CC Cycle 2, Week 7. See you guys soon. Bye.